Hi, this is Pratiksha Jain and I welcome you to this video wherein you will understand another crypto arithmetic problem which says cent plus more is equal to money. In previous two videos, we have understood logic plus logic is equal to prologue and let's plus wave is equal to later. Let's begin with this video too. Always know that if there is an extra letter over here, the length of this is 4 but the length of answer is 5. So that means there is a carry above. So this will always turn into 1. So your M became 1. This 1 got assigned to M. Now if M became 1, so wherever there is M, put 1. Always make use of the largest number that is available. Is 9 used for any of the letter? No, right? So this 9 will get assigned to S. Let us assign it over here. Now why we took 9 over here? One reason is largest number. And the second reason is if we take uh, 8 for S. So 8 plus 1 becomes 9. We won't get a carry here. But we want a carry. So we took 9 plus 1 is equal to 10. So your O becomes 0. So 1, 0, 10. So your O becomes 0. And your S becomes 9. Three letters got assigned uh, to the respective numbers. Now... This O needs to get assigned everywhere. Even this bit game 0, there is nowhere else. Now, before assigning any of the number to E, let us do try and error kind of thing. So, let us assign 8 to E. Now, if 8 gets assigned to E, so 8 plus 0 gives me 8, which, is, which would be wrong. Each number should be unique to each of the letter. So, N cannot be 8. If we take 7 for E, 7 plus 0 again gives me 7. So this is wrong. That means there should be a carry over your 2. So whatever result we'll get, it will be plus 1. So 8, 8 plus 1 gives me 9. Now we cannot take 8 as E because 8 plus 1 is 9. And if this becomes 9, then S cannot be 9. So that means 8 cannot be assigned to E. Let's go for 7. 7 plus 1 gives me 8 and 8 is not assigned to any of the number and even 7 is not assigned to any of the number. So let us take uh, 8 and 7 respectively. So keeping E as 7 and 7 plus 1, 8. 8 as N. So wherever there is N put 8. Let us put 8 over here. And E as 7. E as 7. Now the result of N plus R should be 7. Oh, sorry, it should be 17. 1 and 7. 17. Now let's see if we get that thing. 8 has been used. 8 has been used by N. And 7 has been used by E. So now we have 6 as the largest number. So let us consider 6 for R. 8 plus 6 gives us 14. 14 cannot be considered for R because we want 1770. And if we take a carry over here, then also it becomes 15. So that means N cannot be greater than uh, greater than or equal to 8. It should be less than 8. Let us try with another thing. We took, we considered uh, 6 as R, right? Let us consider 5. Of course, if you are getting result for 6 as the lowest number than uh, 17, then of course, uh, even 5 would result in the lowest number. So, that doesn't make a sense of putting 5 as R. So, let us not do that. And uh, let us decrease the number of E so that we get lower uh, a number lower than 8 for N. So, let us consider E as 6. So, now this wouldn't be the case. Let us consider E as 6. Let us keep the carry. So 6 plus 1 gives us 7. Now my N became 7. Now N became 7. And E became 6. And 6. E became 6. And N became 7. So now 8 is back in it is not uh, been assigned to any of the letter now what if we consider 8 for r so 8 plus 7 
will give us 15. 15 plus 1 will give us 16. Okay. Let us consider this. 7 and let us keep R as 8. 6 is E, 7 is N and 8 is R. 8 plus 7 gives us 15. And 15 plus 1 will give us 16. 1 and 6. Okay. So, R has been assigned with 8. Now, let us see what happens here if this is the case. We don't have any uh, value assigned for D. We have it for 6. And the number which we get for Y should be double digits. Should be of two digits. So that we get a carry over here. The highest number left is 5. Let us put D as 5. So 5 plus 6 gives me 11. So 1 plus 1 will become 11. But now the scene over here is 1 has already been, already been assigned to M. So we cannot reassign 1 to Y. So D cannot be 5. If we keep D as 4. So 6 plus 4 gives me 10. Now if this gives me 10. We will get the carry. That's right. But we will get 0 over here. Which cannot be assigned to Y again. Because it has been already assigned to O. If we take D as 3. So 6 plus 3 will give me 9. It will give me 9. Then how will I get the carry? And we cannot take any extra carry over here because there is nothing uh, ahead of D and E. So, we cannot assign E as 6. Okay. Now, let us assign E as 5. So, 5 plus 0 gives me 5. So, here should be a uh, carry. So, 5 plus 1 gives me 6. So, N became 6. N became 6. E became 5. 5. Now we have n as 6 now and highest number that is left is 8. So 8 plus 6 gives me 14. Now but we want 5 over here. Matlab 1, 5, 15. So we can take 8 for r and we can take a carry. So this will give us 15. 1, 5, 15. So e became 5. So 8 got assigned to r. Let us assign highest number 7 to D. So, 7 plus 5 will give us 12. And 2 has been assigned to any of the variable? No. So, we can consider 7 for D. So, 7 plus 5 will give us 12. So, 1, 2, 12. So, Y got assigned to 2. The result that we get is this. Wherein S is 9 E is 5, N is 6, D is for 7, M is 1, O is 0, R is 8, E is 5 and Y is 2. Thank you for watching the video. I hope the solution will help you solve different problems of crypt arithmetic truth. Thank you.